We're now into our final step, which is to resolve course restrictions for the CloudFront domain. Uh, it's been a few hours, so let's see if our CDN URL is up and running. So, all right, it looks good. It looks like it's deployed, so let's check it out. And yes, it looks good, except that we're not seeing the messages from our Lambda function being displayed. So we're basically running into the same issue as we were when we ran our app from the S3 bucket. So what we need to do is grab the CDN domain and insert it into our Lambda function. We'll repeat the exact same steps as we did before. So let's go to the console and find Lambda. Click on our Lambda function and paste the URL for the CDN on line 14. Click save. And refresh our app on the CDN. And that's how we do that. Now, just to demonstrate how quickly the changes to the Lambda function take effect, let's change one of the objects in the array. Uh, this would simulate a change in a database in a more complex application. Save it and go back and refresh the screen. And as you can see, instant. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this quick demo. Do feel free to ask any questions or leave a comment. Cheers.